YouTube. As you guys can see, the shop is up and running. Everything in here is basically ready to be open. We're just doing our final inspection today, and then we should be good to open. But as you can see, the shop looks fantastic. I showed you guys a bunch of the products that are in here. There's still new products coming in, and it's just going to expand from there. So come get fly with us. All right, now I know you guys are probably confused, so let me clear some confusion about the retail storefront. You guys are probably wondering, where did the retail storefront come from? Where did all these clothes come from? Did I produce these clothes? Let me answer that right now. All right, so back in 2010 is when we first opened up our first retail storefront. My dad and my mom, it's always been a family business that we always had a clothing store since 2010. We've been bouncing around from mall to mall. We've bounced from this mall to this mall to we've always had a storefront and it was always retail clothes urban wear street wear just like this so he's always my family's always did their thing my dad and my mom mainly just run this store my dad always here every day and now i've always been running my company which is aesthetic imprints but that's been from the basement and that's been for five years now so basically i needed a space because i was, that space was running out i needed more space i needed to expand and get my foot out there and get in front of foot traffic as well and he needed we just decided why not move to a closer mall where we live and we got this bigger retail storefront and the plus size it the plus side is there's a back storage area as well back like warehouse whatever you would say. It's bigger than this retail storefront. So back there is basically aesthetic imprints production. That's where I'll do my thing. So everything I did in the basement is gonna be in the back, which is gonna be super dope because when people are shopping for retail clothes, I could sneak them in back there. You know, we do custom production too. We don't just sell retail, we do custom production. So what we basically did with me and my dad and my family business is we combined the two, put it under aesthetic imprints. That's why the sign is aesthetic imprints because I feel like I've built a good following the brand is there people recognize it people recognize the name people recognize it all so they come here and it's just a brand that we're building so retail storefront my pops basically runs that mainly and here we'll basically push the no grind no glory aesthetic imprints the aesthetic brand you know that's the goal is to build up a clothing brand out of this and build up a full brand so i think you guys should meet my dad all right you guys here he is Hey, how are you? <clears throat> so I'm Tony and uh, now I've been in the business for the last 12 years. And now Bhavik, my son Bhav Danak, he's taking over. So he's put up a new store by the name Aesthetic Imprints. All the best. Wish you good luck. I love you, my son. So there you have it, man. That's Tony right there. That's the OG. Come check us out. Me and him are always going to be here. I'll be in the back because, you know, the production back there. But he's always going to be up in the front. Check us out. And, yeah, we'll hook you up. Now, I keep saying the back, but I need to give you guys an update on the back because you guys haven't even seen the back yet. You guys saw it with all the shelves, but let me show you what it's looking like now. So, as you can see, all the shelves are gone. We got the aesthetic red on the wall it's looking beautiful it's all open now there's still a lot of work to be done back here but it's making progress remember these shelves they were all here they were all here but now i knocked the shelves off of this wall too because i wanted the aesthetic to be beautiful because this is basically where it's going to be printing and stuff so yeah now this red wall right here, shout out to my mom because she painted this entire thing and she did a fantastic job. She doesn't paint for work or nothing, but she knows how to paint. It's like a hobby thing. She likes painting. She did her thing on this. Let me know what you guys think of this color and the red down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the shop. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I'm taking you guys through the process of this whole thing. Bring you guys along with me in the grind. And yeah, so let me show you some other updates we did. Now, of course, if we're running a retail clothing store, we definitely need storage. Ignore the mess. It's kind of messy still on the floor, but the goal is to get everything off the floor and up on there. So we built these racks right here. This is basically where the front storage will be back stock, over stock, whatever we need. We can just hurry up back here. It's all hanging. We can pick through it real quick and take it back. Storage up top so it's not in the way. This is gonna be like a kitchen break area type deal right here we got shorts up there because you know it's out of season for shorts so let's get them up there and out the way this is basically where production is going to be 
I don't exactly know where everything is going to be laid out. That I'm still working on. Probably a screen print press right here. The dryer, that's probably going to be like check-in everything. More tables to do check-in. This right here, that's what these all of this is for. I got to build a dark room right here. It's, I got to build a dark room. Let me know if you guys want me to take you along the process with me on that. We got a sink right there. That's basically the bathroom. We're going to have my washout boots right there and everything. And this is actually a back door because a lot of you all have been asking me if I have access to this 24-7. I'm getting blinded. It feels good out here, though. But a lot of you guys ask me if I have 24-7 access to this place. And technically, I do because there's a back door and we installed a lock on it as well so we can enter and exit whenever we want. The back door, we can enter and exit through them right there. And the other plus thing is cardboard, junk, everything. We got all of that right here, right in front of us, right outside the door. So cardboard right there, trash right there, easy, big dumpsters. We don't have to go anywhere. We literally walk 10 foot and it's right in front of us. So overall, this shop is a dub. There's just a lot of good features in this shop that really suits the place well. The dumpsters being right there, the landfill being right there. Uh, this place being not too far from our house, uh, the red, the production in the back, the retail front. It's really going to be a game changer. You guys definitely got to come check this place out. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Aesthetic Imprints. I've already made a post about the sign being up. and You guys went crazy on that. Some of you guys probably already saw that and commented on that. I appreciate you. I got so much love on that. Shout out to you all. I appreciate that. But this place is a plus and backdoor access is available 24 seven if I wanted to, but I don't know why I would need to be here 24 seven as some of you guys keep asking me. Um, I don't want to work throughout the night. And another thing is a mall is open literally seven days a week every day. So it's open longer than these other places would be. So of course I can be here anytime, any day. So it's always open plus malls really don't close on holidays there's just some holidays that it closes for maybe a couple but not really any so it's a dub you guys got to come check us out i'm excited i don't know what else there is to show you guys but let's see if i find anything YouTube check it out we're back it's the next day and I was gonna cut the video right there but I can't let you guys go away without me finishing this floor I got to show you guys so here's what the first coat is looking like here's what it looks like as you can see it got that shine back to it and this is just one coat I went and got more so I'm gonna apply more coats more around three to four coats so it can get a full gloss but there's nothing I can do about these stains that's all from like the shelves but let's finish this sucker off. As you can see, this is the difference. I didn't apply a coat here. As you can see, it's more ashy there and more shiny here. Whoo, coat number two. And that's looking shiny. Way better than what it was. You know, this I think I can deal with instead of paying a thousand to two thousand dollars to redo a floor. I think I can deal with this. All right, the floors are looking fabulous. I'm gonna go ahead and start building the dark room because we gotta build a dark room for this space. There's no other extra room. So now the inspections and everything is good, I'm gonna go ahead and build a temporary style dark room because I don't want it to be too permanent. So we're gonna get to that. And y'all see the jacket. This is the aesthetic drip, the G for the grind. So let's get to it. Now, yo, side note, I really like how this jacket turned out. That's actually, 3D puff embroidery on there that I did myself. Turn out clean.
ours, you guys, now that the foundation and the layout and everything is good to go, I basically used a nail gun and put it in place. But now that I know that this is good and I like it, I stood it up real quick to make sure everything was good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drill in the final holes and actually put screws in there to hold it in tight. So let's do that. Get that y'all that frame job looks great the wall is gonna be great so that's basically exactly where that wall is gonna be right in that area and then my wash sink will be literally right there and then this I'll have like tarps or like a curtain or something to get in there and all my screen stuff will be in there exposing drying screens, humidifiers, and all that. And then there's going to be another wall right here, from here to the end of this shelf. And then from here on out, the shelves are going to be ink and production. You know, we're just laying things out. But I'm taking you guys behind the scenes through this whole process. That looks beautiful. Can't wait to keep going. Side note, I'm literally taking y'all behind the scenes through the whole process of getting this shop built and just vlogging and bringing y'all along the journey. So do me a favor, subscribe, give this video a like, go comment down below. Let me know if you like this type of content and what you think of the shop so far. And let's get back to it. All right, now the framing and everything is all done, but I can't do any more work to this because in order for me to go ahead and do the next step, that is to apply the walls. In this case, I'm gonna actually use quarter inch um, cardboard pieces, basically. Let me show you. Basically, all of these pieces, this is the same type of material I used to build my drying cabinet. Link to that right here. But there was just a whole bunch of these from the shelves the shelves, all of them had backing was this, but I was smart enough to keep this because I knew this would come to use for anything I want to build. It's easy walls, but the only thing is some of them are damaged at the edges like this. So I would put them on right now and get the walls made, but I want to have a little bit of a cleaner look. So tomorrow I'm going to build a t bring a table saw and nick them about an inch or two from each end, get get a clean look and then apply it on there and then we'll build that but we still got more work everything that was there when I wasn't able to do the floor um, polish as you can see I stopped right here it went from ashy to classy but we're gonna make this classy as well so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that everything shifted this way so let's do that mm -hmm. 